So this is going to be a great song. This is going to be a hit song. It's going to be top 10 easy. I mean, it's just Drake. So like no matter what, but at the same time, I think it's a fire song. Like the, the bitch is going to love this. And yes, I'm at the office. <laughs> Will it go number one? It really depends on what's, what's out right now. Um, I do think though that Drake was using the whole Kim K thing that we were just discussing before. Like, we people are getting mad in about him dissing Kanye, or or I, I don't know if it's a sub diss, whatever you want to consider it. He's referencing his ex wife. I feel like that's low, man. That you got to be petty as hell to do that, especially when you were when you were cool. And Kanye even said it in the interview with uh, Drink Champs or wherever it was. He was like, Drake don't diss you. He 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 don't mention your name, but like he'll get back at you where only you know. I mean. It is pretty obvious that he's coming at Kanye with uh, Kim Kim K talking about the divorce, but like, it's not. He never really diss Kanye, but he's kind of. I don't know what that's considered. Like, just just using references that he knows that he's playing. He's he's playing mind games. But so what I was saying was nobody was realizing that this was a whole marketing scheme. He disses Kanye. He has Kim K potentially in the cover. I don't know if that's actually Kim K. Because again, we uh, we go back to the picture. This is this is a narcissist reference, actually. This is a Playboy Cardi reference. Not psych, but Kim K wearing the motorcycle helmet. She giving some fine dome, I bet, too. She, she giving some good helmet. Take that off. Huh, we saw it in that one video, actually. That's why she's famous. But anyway... And then he drops this song and all the bitches are gonna they they're gonna want to go listen to it just because Kim K is in it, even if they don't like Drake. And then all the people are gonna listen to it anyway, because it's Drake. And then thirdly, they're gonna listen to it, the Kanye fans, because they wanna know what if he said anything about Kanye. Easy dub, bro. I I don't care what anybody says about Drake, but he's a GOAT. I'm not trying to like D-Ride or anything, but the numbers speak for themselves, bro. Drake sneak disses. Well, see, here's the thing. Is it a sneak diss? It's so obvious. He's got his ex-wife, bro. That's like... That's like your boy. Or your old friend, let's say. Bangs your old girl, your ex-girlfriend, or your wife. And then texts you... Like a a video of her in your bedroom, like you're not banging her or anything, but like a a video of her talking to you, like why is she in your room? Like you're alluding to the fact that like she didn't say anything bad about you. You didn't you didn't say, Hey, I banged your wife, but like it's all the the proof is right there. And I'm not saying Drake banged Kim, but I'm just saying like He's making it obvious. It ain't even a sneak this. This is just a straight up. What is it? I don't know. It, it, it's a. It's a. What is it? It's, it's hypnosis. It's psychological warfare. Kanye better respond, man. That's all I want. I just want. And I know Kanye isn't like the a wordsmith. He's more on the production side. Get some. Pay somebody. To, to write you a nice ass diss track towards Drake that would make things so much more interesting people for real enjoy Drake's music are you crazy Drake is a goat would I take that type of disrespect I mean it depends on like first of all right now no but to truly win, because you're playing two battles here, right? Because again, the song dropped. And therefore, that means Kim K signed off on the sample being used in the Drake song. So she approved this. She's potentially getting money from this. So that's two people. You're fighting against two people. Kanye is against Drake and Kim K. They on the same team. They double teaming him. And Kim K got a strap on, bro. They're going, they double penetrate, they're DPing him. So, if Kanye truly wants to show he doesn't care, and as the bigger man, you don't respond, you're like, okay, you, you guys go play the little boy games. 
the kid games. I'm just going to keep racking up my billions, right? But at the same time, if you're going to take that disrespect, you got to do something like Kanye got to, I don't know, like nuke his, his PJ or something. Like something, something that gets at him without actually getting at him. And Kanye is a, I mean, I would say he's a master at publicity, but at the same time, he's not. Like, he gets himself in trouble. Like, there's, I feel like there are better ways. Like, he definitely gets attention, but there's ways of getting attention and manipulating the media that always favors you. And I feel like he just, he stirs up controversy, sure, but a lot of times it goes against him. Like, you know, the whole, you know what I'm talking about, the whole Jewish thing. Imagine if Ken was the girl in the cover. That's what I'm saying, bro. It, it might be Photoshop, but at the same time, Drake could be, like, behind her, like, if if a girl's on your motorcycle, bro, you hit. You hit. Like, the, it's just assumed. Like, they love that. Trust me, I got a motorcycle license. How many girls have I driven on a motorcycle? Zero. Zero. That should tell you something. I haven't hit any of them. But that proves it. <laughs> 